once more into the space that is space. The walled city. Those walls aren't doing much work these days, are they? Being in space. This is dangerous ground, Fox. Walled city was once the Earthwalker's home, but it's been overrun by the deadly Red Eye tribe. General Scales has imprisoned the King Earthwalker within its walls. You must rescue the King and find that spellstone. Hurry, Fox. Those nasty beasts are mighty hungry. Let me out. Fly through seven gold rings to open the gatekeeper's force field. Here we go. Watch out for the mine. This looks like a lot. Fired that one on accident, basically. I did I shoot it or did I cons I don't Ah. Ow, stop it. I don't- what? How do I not get hit by a door? Stop it. Ow. Oh, crap, I missed it. Perspective's hard. I'm so bad at this kind of game. Why does the ring sometimes have an X on it like you can't use it? That's good news, because I definitely lost count. I had no idea how many I'd made, had gotten so far. I might have gotten exactly seven. Oh, that's just a T-Rex. A proper one? We haven't seen one of those. Wait, what? Is that a fox? It kind of looks like a fox, doesn't it? They do know- they do know about foxes. That is what that is. That's kind of one of the lingering questions, like, why do they know what a fox is now? I guess they know what crystal is? But, like... Are there other crystals? <laughs> are we, is this gonna be, like, Knuckles, where we find out about, like, the Echidna tribe that looks vaguely, like, South American? As, like, an amalgamation of things? So. Have you considered, uh, kicking everyone's ass, and then taking him back? You know? Like, the last people were pterodactyls, and I was like, oh, okay, they're not very strong, I guess. Although, that was undercut by them going on to have, like, that guy that shoots fire everywhere. So I'm still wondering, like, maybe they're- I feel like they could take care of themselves. But you guys are just tanks. Just go kick all the ass. Just every ass. Do all of the ass kicks. And then a win. What, do they lock them behind a door that requires opposable thumbs? So they don't even have to, like, guard it? Because you guys are all completely incapable of dealing with that. Those guys are big. That doesn't seem effective. 
These guys are spooky. So maybe these are... Yeah, maybe that's why they couldn't defeat them. We've got super threats hanging out around here. I'm a little concerned about facing them. Maybe you can't. You might be expected just to like patrol around them and avoid them. Stealth like. Would they attack a disguise? Oh, I climbed all the way up here and there's nothing here. Here they come. Tricky's gonna die today. We're gonna watch him die. Uh oh. So my only new power is to open up the blue things. Damn, I, put, I potentially could have used that power this whole game. And that lady just had it in a cave under her under her nest. And didn't tell me. Maybe that guy can explain what's going on around here? Because I don't... See what to do. Kaboomba! Oh! He just ground pound it. Has that, was that established before? Am I supposed to climb the tower? Oh god. I don't care about fire. I only care about having to restart this shit. Okay. You better be here, you little punk. You better, better not have to deal with you not being here at, at a time of need. Okay, so you ground pound those. I was trying to remember. It is one of the thoughts that came to mind, but... I, I don't necessarily remember Ground Pound previously being the solution to one of these things. Let's see, they gave me a bomb here, so I feel like I should just take it with me, just in case. It's conspicuously right next to this one, so maybe I need it. What did I pr it didn't even- it's just gone. Okay. That was weird. Okay. Flame. A little tight on time here. Quickly! 
I guess I wasn't supposed to take the bomb in there. It just seemed like a natural conclusion to the fact that it was just kind of weirdly there. But Fox, like, auto threw it and it vanished. Which was weird. My son, you don't have to worry about me. I am the king. <laughs> ah, the famous Star Fox, hero of Dinosaur Planet. Uh, yeah, that's me. And before you ask, no, I haven't got the spellstone, but I do know where you could look. To enter the lair of the Red Eye King, you must first find the two sacred teeth. Not an easy task, as they are protected by the very life force of the Red Eye tribe. Locate the magic cave. The answer lies within. <laughs> just have to unironically say all that shit just on the fly, huh? Oh yeah, they got just they got missing teeth. How do you know who I am? You get a lot of news in this uh, cell that's underground. In a spooky bunker. Hey, the bridge is suddenly here. Look for other earthwalkers. They will guide you on your quest. Okay. Yeah, if I met one before, he was very helpful. I was thinking you might give me some for guidance. Guess not. Tricky. Tricky. Do you like teleport sometimes? No? Oh, he's, he's stuck on that guy. Wait, what are you stuck on? Tricky. Stupid McDumbhead, come here. Hope it's not important. It, he just turns off. Flame. Was that? Maybe, maybe the ground pound? How'd you get up here? So find is not the command. Hmm. A bit unclear. Now will you come over here? There you go. Oh, it was useless. Okay. You're stuffed, but apparently it goes right through you. We'll be feeding you again in 10 minutes. There's the bomb plant. I've got one of those, though. Haven't done this for a while. Another one? Why? Oh, we encountered these before and I still can't pick them up. And there's nothing else here. The secret of the river can be found. 
down amongst the leaves. So this guy exists purely to make to help me notice this button that's shootable up here. Where was that? A torch got lit somewhere. Ah. I would say that that let that 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 roof is in jump range. I would say. <laughs> Jeez, it's definitely in jump range. They just don't let you jump. That's the pow that's the true power of an, of not having a jump button. <laughs> if it's auto jump only, they can just create their own problems. Okay, so that's that's where one of the dragon teeth is probably located. Hence the requirement to kill them. He said it was guarded by the, their their life force itself, which is a bit grim. We're gonna have to do a genocide. Sorry, everybody. I can do it with a little more guidance. I'm a bit confused. It showed a brazier lighting. But where was that? It's a really big area full of fires. In particular, somewhat concerningly, uh, this tower, this pyramid here, is covered in fires that are all lit. Did I light one of those fires? That still doesn't open. So whatever I did didn't unlock that path. Was it here? There's one lit here, and the other three are not. That certainly seems conspicuous. There's so many Pikachus! Who's dying in this game? Yep. The secret of the river. That was a mistake. Okay, let's focus. He said the secret of the river lies in the leaves. And I lit one torch by shooting a button. So, like, maybe we have to just keep running around and searching every single tree for another button? Four of them total? Oh my god, I do. I've never felt more alive in my life. <laughs> yeah, that uh, the camera angle establishing the torch lighting could definitely do with a, a swoop. Like, 
the camera should swoop over there from where I was standing when I shot it. Or from the button. Really just any movement would give us a chance to potentially see where it, where it was. Cutting directly to the place makes it confusing. Although if they did want to cut directly to it, the, the change they could do to help with that is just sh show the R-Wing in the shot. If you can see the R-Wing, then you're like, oh, it's, it's the torches by the R-Wing, and they're lighting up for some reason. Still don't know why, but at least you'll know that's where they are. It's amusing that they're these big, imposing threats, but they actually don't even aggro on me most of the time. They barely pay attention. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of this objective. Ooh. What's that down there? Yep, searching all these trees for a button pretty much blows. Not my favorite choice they've made in this game. What are the red eye hiding behind the life force door? The secret of life? A buy one, get one free subway coupon? Yeah, I can't dig this stuff. Whoa, blew that up. Oh, it's another one of those. So that's what they wanted me to do up at the other place then. Ah. When it's directly in front of a crack, it's more obvious, but I think that's what that patch was I saw elsewhere, too. It's just that one had no obvious indication of what it even wanted from me. Another Pikachu. There's like eight in this level, I think. Why? I mean... You know what? Oh, wait. I looked in that tree already. How did I miss that? God, who knows where I might be, be, might be missing the last one. It seems relatively easy to look straight up in a tree and not see it. Hmm. Maybe that'll open when I light all the torches? It has a little chest that you open with a staff. So, so far three out of four are in trees, so they probably are all in trees. At first, that guy's hint seemed pretty silly, and still does feel silly. But at the time, I thought he just meant he was just pointing out the button that was above him. Which just seemed like an overwhelming thing to point out. Or, I mean, an underwhelming thing to point out. Like, yes, sir, I already saw that. Wow, your voice acted and everything. But it turns out that's the entire puzzle. Is that there's four of them throughout the area. What does that mean? Listen, Star Fox just really likes going through rings. Don't take this from him. 
Without rings, he wouldn't know how to get dressed in the morning. What does that mean? I don't know. It's gonna blow like a hole in the area? Yes. Is it time for a magic meter upgrade? Or an optional spell? You've collected Super Ground Quake. With its upgraded powers, the Ground Quake will now knock over even larger bad guys. That's neat. I don't know if I'll ever use it against an enemy, but there it is. If nothing else, I get to be like, yo, I got a, I got a thing. But combat is just not a priority in this game. You pretty much just have to be hungry for any amount of variety that you can add, basically. To use any of the other options, because I think you're usually just better off just just hitting them. Just hit them with the basic combo. And if they're really stubbornly blocking, you can freeze them real quick. Well, we'll see. Maybe there'll be some scenario where it feels like it'd really be helpful to use that. They once again showed me a cutscene while not really establishing where that cutscene took place. There it is. Why? Oh my god. Okay, now this makes more sense. Like, why'd you make me swim? Uh, I thought, like, why did you make me swim in the river just to unlock a gate? But now it makes a lot more sense. It's an attempted race. The timer's tight enough that it definitely seems more or less mandatory to nail it every time. It's a good thing I am. Oh god! What? How did I... How did I fail? I was just holding down forward. What? Is there swim tech in this game? Not that. Oh god, not definitely not that. I'm just trying to find, like, is there some secret button I need to be pressing to swim faster? That little moment might have lost me a couple, the couple seconds I need to not lose. It all depends on whether or not these rings reset the timer to the same thing each time, or if they add a set amount of time. I guess one question is, is walking or swimming faster? There, there do appear to be banks. Yeah. Like, here you have to run. But other times it seems a little more optional. It'd be like a left or right bank that is more shallow or deep. Is that the trick? You would think that swimming would be faster... Maybe. Because the tempo, the te the oh god, what the fuck? Is running faster? I 
was kind of figuring the current might carry you. But maybe whenever you have the space, running makes you go faster. I honestly couldn't tell you. We don't really have a way of measuring his speed. This could be faster. Come on, man. Finally. Alright, well that was kind of obnoxious. Oh right, there's two. Yeah! That's one tooth. A silver red-eyed tooth. Where's the magic cave? There was, once again, there was an establishing shot like there often is. Uh, <laughs> super quick. Super quick. Super quick. You're super dead now. Gonna ruin this guy's day. I'm unclear. Do you have a health bar? Nope, he got bored and ran away. Oh, you do it again. Gotcha. Now I just have to farm magic. <laughs> Well, that's a good amount of more magic, okay. Yeah, this wasn't just a general upgrade. It kills them. So when they were talking about how it, ta it uh, knocks over big dudes, they were not... They were not selling it short. My bad. Because, yeah, it just occurred to me, like, he did, he told me to go find a magic cave, and I'm like, wait, is that what I found already? Then I realized, I'm like, oh, that, this power is mandatory. <laughs> How'd you guys know about that secret cave? It was, you had to bomb to get in there, and it wasn't, like, it's not of a size where either you or them could have ever gotten into. And it's all to power the staff of a character you've never met before? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't have enough magic. You gotta remember to get the magic. Because it's really expensive. Get your ass back here. I am not done genociding you yet. Got him. That was the last three red eyes in the entire world. And there were zero. Oh yeah, there was a bomb right there too. Did not realize both shrines have a bomb. Why did both shrines have a bomb? I don't know. <laughs> I have not found a bombable spot yet. Maybe the bombs are an alternate way of fighting the... the T-Rexes. 
It really does feel like the red eyes really... It really does feel like this, this is really mandatory. Maybe you're supposed to knock them over and then use... Maybe you're supposed to knock them over with the quake and then, then kill them with a the bomb. But it turns out the quake does it too. Is this one gold? Or also silver? <gasps> you got the thing! It's gold! Whoop! You're fine. Oh god! That was a more dramatic impact than I expected. I'm sorry. 